I was driving to work yesterday, and uh, the Lord placed this verse on my heart. First uh, Peter five eight says this: "Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour." Now that's in the NIV. I read the NIV a lot. And it may say just a, va a, a slightly different variation in another Bible. But let me read that again. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Now, God just dropped that verse in my heart. And that's probably one of my favorite verses that I have. Uh, that that I do know of, uh, one of amongst some of my favorite. I've got a lot of favorite verses actually, but I uh, two thing a couple things really stood out to me in this verse, and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, be alert and of sober mind. So, what does that mean? You know, well, everybody knows. I mean, be alert. Does that mean take a five-hour energy shot? Mm. Be alert, and then, you know, and then uh, be ready. Well, I don't know about you, but this last Wednesday night here was the, one of the biggest bar nights of the year. People were out drinking. Uh, I happen to have a uh, job where I get to see a lot of uh, the bar activity around downtown and things like that the bars were just packed and people were just drunk and people were just just you know hanging out everywhere just drinking to themselves into oblivion i mean there's people that i had to help up to their house door because if you know if they wouldn't have made it to their door uh you know they probably wouldn't have made it into their house they were so drunk and it was so so bad for them that you know, I mean, I don't know how, you know, that's definitely, definitely not being sober, okay? I mean, I think most of us would agree with that, especially as Christians, right? That, you know, drinking yourself into oblivion. Now, where the where the thing comes in is people want to know, or the, the um, where the, um, the thing comes in is, is here, especially here in America, is, well, you know, as long as you don't get too, too much drink. Well, I don't know about you, but, like, if you're getting ready to go into, I mean, even business people, before they go into a business meeting, don't go get a shot of whiskey. You know, they wait till afterwards. You know, they want to be alert. They want to be ready. And I draw, you know, I, I'm around a lot of business people. They don't go drinking before. Now, if they're an alcoholic, possibly. But they're, that's to their own detriment. You know, one of the things that the devil wants to do f to us is he wants us, number one, not to be alert. Then if he catches us not alert, and then on top of that, we're not of sober mind. We are the easiest prey the devil could see. You know, we're kind of like on deer season when people sit those salt licks out. You know, and the deer come back for the salt licks. And then the hunter's sitting there right in the thing, right in the woods waiting for them deer to come back where that salt lick was or that salt was that they put out for that deer and then BOOM the hunter blows the deer away works out for the hunter but not so much for the deer because he wasn't alert And the salt just was too much unbearable. He's had to have it. Even though during hunting season, I'm sure that they heard shotguns 
going off all over the place. <laughs> Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Are you alert as a Christian? Are you getting drunk on the things of the world? Yeah, a few beers, no big deal, get a little buzz. I'm not drunk. But just one night, yeah, you may get away with that. Four, five, six, seven, ten, twelve. You might get it on a couple dozen, get away with it for a couple dozen times. Then one day, one day, Satan says, Now today is the day that I'm going to devour you. And if you're not alert, he just waits till you just accidentally tip above or over the tipping point. Then you mess up. You not only hurt yourself, but hit you hurt your family. You hurt those you love. You hurt yourself. And you hurt the body of Christ. Because of your lack of being alert and your lack of being sober. Now, we we'll talk about drugs and alcohol. But there, we can also be drunk on the things of the world too. Maybe too much. Maybe you're drunk with other things. You drunken yourself with money and riches, and you drunken yourself with, with you know, over this or over that. Put Jesus first in your life. Be alert, and be of sober mind. Because your enemy, the devil, goes around like a roaring lion. And he's ready. And he's seeking who he can devour. It might just be you. It might just be you today. If you're not alert. And you're not ready. Maybe, just maybe. You should have been avoiding having a few of them beers. Taking a little extra of that narcotics. Maybe you should have been just a little bit more alert. A little bit more sober. And none of this would happen to you. Oh, don't hurt nobody. Oh, don't hurt nobody. Oh, the Bible says, the Bible says that not to be drunk with much wine. It's ridiculous. The Bible's not ridiculous. Your understanding of it's ridiculous. The scripture right here says be alert and sober. And I can go on about other scriptures here too where it tells us to be sober. You're not sober when you're drinking. American people do not drink alcohol and remain sober. They all get buzzed. They take narcotics to get a high. Now, I'm not talking about stuff prescribed by the doctor. I'm talk for your pain. I'm talking about well, that could be used too if it's used wrongly. I am talking about doing it to get that to alter yourself, to try to forget about your past. To try to forget about the things that are hurting you instead of facing them. My friends, it's time to put away the foolishness and start thinking like adults. And quit making excuses for our sin. Be alert and of sober mind. Because your enemy, the devil, and I'm not your enemy. I'm trying to help you. And I'm not doing something that I haven't lived myself. Being alert and sober. Because your enemy, he's he's trying to destroy you, even if you're not. But how much more easier can he, if you're not? 
alert and sober because he's looking for someone to devour. Are you going to be devoured? Think about it.